G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on one of these Honda lawnmowers. So a little story here, in the last week I bought two of them. Um, this one here ended up costing me $10 and I bought it with that one there, so we'll say $5 each. Bargain. This one here came with all that stuff over there for a total of $30, so we'll just say $15. Another bargain. So, um, I've got all the parts to fix this one up today, I think. So let's get started. Righto, achieve the greaser. Tell it's cold this morning because it's not spraying out at high pressure. <laughs> uh, I worry about the engine today. I might get some stain removed for this catcher or the bag, depending where you're from. This is a Jigs V120, it's 120cc, wouldn't mind a GX120 to put on a Scott Bonham, but anyhow, haven't got one yet. Oh, let that soak for a minute and we'll come back. Alright, we'll get this pressure wash pried up, hang on. Choke on, switch on, water's on. Come on, you Oh, cheat it. Oh. these when I see them in the scrapyard and they, you know, there's a few good parts I can use but most of the time these in these mowers are dumped because the frame has you know, let it down or and and or the engine's just been flogged to death but looking at this chassis it is absolutely mint um, after a wash it looks even better so I'm guessing touch wood that maybe it's just been laid up, someone stole the wheels off it, and it's just been thrown out. It looks like it's been stored correctly, but there's no fuel in it. It doesn't even smell like old fuel, but you never know once we get into this carburetor, which I'll give it a quick clean, um, just to make sure it runs good. It could be gummed up. Also check the oil. Pretty sure I've checked this one already. And it is just beautiful and golden, so we'll just leave that alone for now. Might change it after it's had a bit of a run. But other than that, the starter rope, we might change him. He's just a little bit frayed. And the idea is you put your foot on here to pull start these. That's why it's got the sort of grip pad there. Not sure what our throttle cable situation's like, but I've got a brand new one. 
in the spare parts pole, but it seems to be working. So we'll just leave it alone and do our bare minimum. Quick carburetor clean, change the blade, which is all I've already got inside, it's a big bar blade, and put some front wheels on. Righto, our ice cream container for parts. Hopefully this just comes straight apart. Air filter looks really good. I'm not even going to worry about changing that. Barely a speck of dust on it. A little bit oily, but when they've been at the tip, problem is they've probably been laid on their side and dumped upside down when they've been knocked about, so not too fussed about that. The oil on that air filter is only on the sides of it, so oh, not the sides of it, the um, rubber gasket, so a little bit of oil just floating around anyway. Not going to hurt anyone. What else is holding you on? Oh, there's another 10 mil belt there. I ain't working a lot of stuff. I used to dislike them, and, and uh, they've just got their own quirks. I don't mind them too much now. I'll say a breather hose here. Could probably do with a replacement. I'll see what I've got floating around. Uh, we'll give this a bit better of a clean later. Uh, carburetor. Disconnect their throttle. Come on, you slip through the loop. There we go. Yeah, it's just a little bit of engine oil down in the carburetor, so someone's laid it on its side, obviously. Just gonna go and get a screwdriver to pry out that um, fuel hose, and then we'll do what we gotta do to get this off without damaging this um, choke linkage. take this spacer off will probably just damage the gasket so we'll leave it in situ and if it falls off it falls off we'll key him to have your radar so we'll take that to the workbench and pull it down there get the air on it and give it a quick blow get all the crud off the outside I haven't got a lot of carburetor clean got to be careful with it today Of it, I can get away with use, just using a diesel parts washer. Right, take the bowl off. Ugh. That feels a bit gummy. Maybe it wasn't stored correctly. Bowl's a bit icky. Uh, where are you? There you are. Bowl's a little bit icky. But I've done plenty worse. So right. Wash them separately. Take this um jet here. The screwdriver wants to work. Take a bit of carburetor cleaner on that for a while. No point forcing it. We'll 
playing around this ball. So I think there's more of a little bit of rusting gunge on the bottom of the bowl from where it's had water sit in it. Uh, as long as you get all the loose particles off, you'll be right. That's uh, just some pitting in the bottom now. I mean, you can live with that, I suppose. I'll give it a good run after it's put back together, so if it's going to block up, it'll do it while I've got it here, so anyway. Um, that's better-ish. Anyway, get some more light on the scene. Quite a miserable day today. Um, well, I'll leave him there for a minute. Let's float. I'll take the needle off. Or not. I'll just avoid getting the carburetor cleaner on the rubber needle. Just a quick spray. Then I'll just wipe that down with rag, get all the old crap off it. Usually I just hose all the stuff with carb cleaner, but we're running a little bit short today and I don't want to run back into town, so. I'll run back into town this afternoon, but that's for another job, so. It's still a little bit grubby, but no, there's no chunks as such. It's just dried on stuff that will dissolve in petrol. I'll be right there. Uh, I want to see if I can get this um, jet out. If I can't, I'll just leave it be. Um, hope that you know, it's not too blocked up, but by the rest of the car, this shouldn't be too bad. Push down nice and firmly. Try our best. No, we'll leave that in there for now. All right, I might just pop this idle screw out. Um, in about that far. usually get this little idle jet tube what have you yep, without too much drama once again if it doesn't want to go don't force it and it really if you do stuff it up at the end of the day eBay aftermarket carburetors can be a good option as well I'm just very carefully working it up each side. So don't want to destroy it. Yeah, look, it's going to start coming apart. So we'll just leave it be. Clean the bowl out, that's a start. Now I'll blow some air through it quickly. I'll take this oil with mix your screw out as well. Just give it all a real good blasting with some air. Okay, straight up the guts. Block off them holes. Straight. Up. Send a bit more carb cleaner through it. going to get fuel through it anyway so we will have it running <laughs> yeah well no one knows but anyway um, some air through here that doesn't fit in very well does it hmm buy a different air hose as well oh, no. that'll do it
So, yeah. all the meat's just in there. We'll adjust it afterwards. So we'll just start off with one and a half turns, see where that gets us. This has been my rule of thumb forever, so. Half, one, one and a half. Um, idle screw. Make sure I'm supposing camera, eh? Bit of a bugger I couldn't get that jet out, but I did. Yeah. Generally, I don't like pushing things further than I have to. A little bit more. There, righto. That's, that's open a little bit. So, put our um, float needle back in. Carp's still dirty to a point. Go. Uh, anyone remember which way round this um, bowl drain was? Oh, I'm going to point it towards the front, doesn't really matter. Right, now we've just given it a quick clean, we'll um, take it back and fit it onto the machine. Alright, refit the carburetor. I think what we did, the right way around, we yeah. poke this rod Get some pliers quickly to pull that fuel hose on a bit further. Accelerator, that throttle, plate linkage. Get it on there. Get her done. There we go. Shakes closed. Grab some pliers. Actually, I might be able to just ease that back on a bit more. There we go. Should probably replace that fuel line. It looks a little bit shrunken. Ew, yuck. I might just quickly clean this back in two seconds. Alright, clean that housing up. Um, fix this hose up a little bit too. Look, turn the camera back on. So. We might just throw that back on. Right. I suppose we better go and find some wheels. And I might quickly pull the plug out and clean it. And then I might put some petrol in it and just see what it does. The 
this cross that runs all right. All right. So, what have I done? Just quickly polished up them axles. There's only a little bit of surface rust on them, so nothing to really worry about. This spark plug, ooh, where is he? He's reasonably clean, reasonably new. He can go back in. And if it gives us trouble, we can change it after. But. pressure washing it. Sometimes the spark plug root gets full of water. So I'll just give that a quick spray with some um, water dispersant spray. I need the cheap WD-40 for that job. That'll do it. Wheels. Spent a whole thirty dollars on eBay for these. They probably don't even fit. <laughs> They're a bit loose. Anyhow, I'll make some um, spaces up for them later. They're very loose. Not to worry. Chinese, not copy so good. I did say these were for a um, HR194, but I suppose they did make them for a while. I could change the design over the years. Whatever. I'll just pack them out with some washers later. We'll go and get some fuel and um, move out onto the lawn, I guess. See what happens. Do have hubcaps too. I'm not sure where I've, mis I've misplaced them somewhere. Get some fuel. And it's dry. I haven't done any work on this starter yet either, so that'll need some attention. This thing's just in awesome condition for its age. That's not the right fuel cap either, it's just one I had on the GCV engine. It's floating around. Fuel turned on, on the choke position. Alright, so obviously we're not getting fuel. Pour a little bit down the throat off. See whatever blockage is there, we can get stuck through. Oh, it loves ether. I suppose 
suppose we could also check the spark. So after a bit of fiddling around, um, we've got spark, we've got compression, and a few random pops coming out of the carburetor. So I'm starting to think maybe our flywheel key could be sheared. So I've got to take the starter off anyway. May as well quickly um, undo the nut off the flywheel and check check our um, flywheel. So I just take the whole pop off. It was very over full with oil too. Um, and they say how much oil to put in it. I think someone said, oh, I'll put all of it in. Anyway. When you check the oil on these, you, you pull it out, you wipe it off, then you just sit it back at the top of the threads and take your oil down. And when I pulled the valve cover off, I just wanted to quickly check our valve adjustment. And I forgot to hit record. Oil gushed out the front of the, um, from underneath the rocker cover. So only something simple stopping it from running. I haven't got the most amount of experience with Hondas, but I mean we won't get it running today. It might take a while. Belts come from. Well, that one came out of the bay. Someone's been in there before. It's almost cross threaded. It's always fun. Mmm. What have they done while they were in here? That's a big question. A little bit oily. So I'll just go and grab a socket and do that flywheel bolt. Looks like a 17 and the impact. Nine millimeter. And that could be our issue. It doesn't look very good at all. Alright, try and calm this flywheel into coming off. I don't have a puller on hand, so I'll just um, get a couple of pry bars and, and give it some love and see if we can make it come off. Alright, right. we'll go and get some tools. Alright. Got to hit record. Anyway. Let's see what our flywheel key looks like. It has been broken before and spun on the um, shaft. But it is in one piece, so it's a start. Might as well check our magnets while we're here. And they're alright. While it's all pulled apart, I'll just quickly wash in here and um, we'll take the camera in and put some new rope in that starter. Come on, yeah. When I jump on eBay later, I'll buy the correct fuel cap. I suppose. I might pull that ignition coil off as well and take it in and give it a really good clean. Just make sure our earth points are good and get the strongest spark possible. I have tried another plug. I was fiddling around earlier and um, a known good one because we've had some failed NGKs lately straight out of the box so um, wouldn't put it past to another failed plug but 
No, that wasn't an issue. We've got spark at the at the plug. But we'll just clean up our earth points. Could even just be a dicky um module within the um, ignition coil, but I don't have a spare coil either, so anyhow, we'll keep trucking. So I haven't done one of these Honda starters for a while, <laughs> a long while. Uh, I do think the end of the rope could well be under this 10 mil nut here. So. Hopefully, I can get the rope changed without making a mess everywhere. So it's down in there. What we'll do, we'll take the starter pole out. Oh, we'll leave him there actually. We will I'll just quickly grab another small screwdriver to pick that um, rope out of there. So we want to wind the rope all the way out, but make sure you can see it. Um, keep pressure against the starter pulley. Come on, you old prick! Pull the old rope through. Now we'll grab some pliers. I think I've picked my bluntest pair of pliers I've got, but we'll see how we go. There we go. Now, the tricky part will be feeding this new rope through without letting go of the starter spring, I suppose. Of course, you could also let the tension off the spring and um, use this notch here to wind the rope on. But this is, I prefer to try and um, not let the spring go. We've got our rope to there. It's a start. And I think I've cut our new rope a little bit too long, which doesn't matter. Way too long. Anyhow, let's not worry. We can cut it shorter once we tie it off. I can get it's about as far out, not much in there as you want. So So the reel's nice and full. You can get a lot of rope into the victim L's. I like having a really long starter rope because when you hit the end of it, it does tend to jerk your starter recoil around a bit. I'm going to put them pliers. Yep. And so that's done. We'll um. Chuck him back on and go and see how this mower's going. I just washed underneath the flywheel on that and cleaned it up a bit. I might put this starter on this way around so I can actually get a decent heave on it until we get it running that first time and then I'll turn it back to the way it's supposed to be later. Almost forgot. Our um, lumen thing. I doubt this has made any difference whatsoever somehow, but it's cleaner. Oh, we'll have we nice 
first long one to go through this lipstick tube. Aim here is to get them all started before talking any of them down or cranking down on anyone. both are a bit average. Someone's been in here before, which makes me think someone's tinkered before. I haven't worked out what the issue was. Or messed with something. So it's just been serviced before. It was um, sprayed up going by the colour of the oil. A reasonable new spark plug that was in there. Which raises the question, why was it laid up? Even with fuel dumped in this throat hole or down the spark plug hole, we're only getting a few pops, so it could be a faulty ignition module. And when it comes to that, if it won't run after this time around, I will start blaming that. I don't think I've got a spare. I might try a Chinese Honda one. Let's see what happens. Um, or. I don't know if a vertical shaft, ah, horizontal shaft engine, one will be the same, like say a GX 120, 140, 160, because I've got a couple of those out the farm. I might be able to go and borrow one of those. Anyhow, ah, I didn't quite get this rubber gasket on, but it's falling apart anyway. We'll just sit him off to the side, because no doubt this box going to have to come off again. All right. I'll give it a couple of yanks to see what, see what happens. All oh, these fuel caps starting to be very annoying. There we go. So at this stage, what have we got to lose by trying a um, Sanley ignition coil? Um, the bolt holes are the same spacing. Um, physically quite smaller. Oh, we'll give it a go anyway, see what happens. All right, take 20, whatever we're up to now. So we've got Sanley ignition coil fitted. Um, I fitted the end of the Honda coil. So who knows if there's anything wrong with it, but if you look at the uh, module on the coil sideways, it is bulged out. Could have had something wrong with it. I did have spark with it though, so who knows. On choke this time. like a Honda should. I guess we should make it cut like a Honda should. Okay. These um, bolts are a little bit rough. That one came out. Um, well the bolt itself's alright. Just the heads have copped a little bit of crap over the ears. 
plan as well. Okay, well just um, guard the socket on. take this to the workbench and beat it out of the blade carrier I think or actually no I'll just get a screwdriver off and I'll bend it back a bit Whoops. okay well our problem is at the moment it's done a little bit of work so our um, blade carrier is just knurled over Quite strong steel too, so there we go. Rubbish. Um, might just give this a wire wheel and quickly straighten it out. Right. Much, much better. Okay. Um well, that face is pretty clean actually, it doesn't look it, but anyway. Put him on there. Put the blade on. Both bolts started and centered on there. Put the pins. And we'll send them all the way in. Let's take it for a spin and cut some grass.
must say not too bad for an old machine. Um, it's doing a pretty good cut. The winter grass is pretty average. Um, some real thick Kaikuyu summer grass will show, show you how hard it can really work. So it wasn't all, um, wasn't all roses at the end. So I'll turn the fuel off. Yeah, our new blade didn't quite fit properly. Um, it was just touching on this edge here. So all I've done is I spaced it down a fraction. Um, I cut the old blade off there and there and used it as a spacer. Just to bring the blade down that like four millimeters. So it didn't hit anymore. Um, now, Chinese copy front wheels aren't quite perfect. I will space those out before I sell it. All in all though, that hose there, I just trimmed it and put it back in. It was only hard where it's inside the engine. Otherwise, this thing is ready for work. So I'd like to thank you all for watching today. Um, I've just fixed up this, these front wheels a bit. I put some um, push clips on. Now they fit nice and snug on the axle. Unfortunately, those new hubcaps that came with it are garbage. Um, what the heck? If the bearings rust out, they're only a couple of dollars to replace down the track. So, all in all, a very nice looking machine and um, it'll make someone happy. Next up, we've got a trade in that just came in earlier. Um, yeah. yeah. I've seen it run before because I bought it off a house where I actually used to go and mow lawns next door to it. So, that was only a few months ago. But, uh, certain bits and pieces leave a lot to be desired. Anyhow, that's for another video. Thanks for watching.